Welcome to Comfort Habit number two. I just deleted a video because I stumbled over my words and I just made a video before that about no one liking the truth teller. So, telling me the truth, I stumbled over my words. I'm not going to undig this stuff, but today, my Spider-Man shirt and my pants got messed up by a one-eyed rescue dog that my nephew Omar and I had to deal with while moving furniture that I'm not supposed to be doing any heavy lifting, but thanks to my brother who didn't show up to do his part, we had to do all the hard work. And then we had to drive the truck all the way back. So basically, the video I deleted told you the main story. So now I gotta relive this shit again without digging out the clothes. So my nephew and I had to go and move this furniture out of his mama's house. We took the drawers downstairs after taking the bikes, the bikes, the bed rails, and the bed baseboards, whatever you call them. What's the thing? On the, the top of the bed and the bottom of the bed. We had to park a freaking bed down the freaking steps. After we got the bed and the mirror loaded on the truck, we started bringing the drawers down. When we got the drawers down, somehow or another, this one-eyed dog came out to play. And he didn't play nice. He had dirty paws and everything with little white feet. Yes, I mean the damn feet, as I said in the other video. He started jumping all up and down my side of my Spider-Man shirt. So he got paw points all over my body. And my nephew was the one that noticed that he had one eye first. I didn't notice until like the third time the dog jumped up on us. And I was like, okay. So look, first off, I'm not a dog person. Let's just get that off the bat right now. I don't hate dogs, but I never want one as a pet. And you know, I, I don't have time to worry about that. If I gotta have a pet, it's gotta be a goldfish. Right? Easy to replace. They don't take up much space. And nine times out of ten, if you get the right equipment, they don't stink. Dogs, yeah, they kinda stink. Yeah. And then I don't like having to go clean up poop behind the dogs that are not mine that are here that I have to take care of. Which is what I had to do before I started video in the other video. But you know the thing is Animals don't get a choice, but you do. So, as a PSA, if you are fully not capable of keeping a pet, then you should probably weigh that out before you get one. And by the way, while I'm on that, I don't give a damn if no one loves me after this video, but I'm going to say this. And to you animal lovers, if you specifically don't love me after this video, well, eat a dog biscuit. There should be a law and a test to make sure that you can pass a psychological exam before you are allowed to have a pet. And they can't do that with children, although some people should have that before they have kids, but they should be able to do that with pets. It's got to be a line somewhere. Because personally, I'm tired of taking care of pets that don't belong to me. I'm tired of scooping up dog crap. I'm tired of feeding animals. I'm tired of walking animals. I don't have any pets. I also don't have any children, so I'm tired of that too. This is Comfort Havoc number two, B, C, and E. And enjoy your first weekend of 2021.